Good evening to you and thanks for being with us. I'm Natalie Martinez in tonight for Alex Maragos and we begin with breaking news from the city's far north side. A father and son shot this evening in Rogers Park. The little boy just five years old is fighting for his life tonight. NBC 5's Christian Farr is live at Lurie Children's Hospital with details. Christian. Good evening, Natalie. Such a sad story. Devin McGregor had started kindergarten on Wednesday. Now he's being treated here at Lori Children's Hospital after being shot in the head. We spoke with his grandfather, who was distraught, upset, and wondering why this senseless crime even happened. I'm heartbroken. I'm crushed. I mean, my grandson. Turbulon Sergeant found it hard to express how he felt after receiving the news that his five-year-old grandson, Devin McGregor, had been shot in the head Sunday night. Devin had just started kindergarten at a school in Evanston. Great kid, great. You know what I'm saying? Great. And, I mean, heartbroken. I mean, he a baby. He a, a baby. A baby, and it's senseless. It's senseless. Chicago police say the shooting happened shortly after 5 this evening in the 7600 block of North Polina. Sergeant says his grandson was with his mother and father in a car when police say a black Hyundai pulled up and fired shots into their car, hitting the father in the arm and five-year-old Devin in the head. Devin is now being treated at Lurie Children's Hospital. You see it all the time, but it never hits until it happens to your family. And now I'm a part of another family because I'm, part, I'm a part of the families that this has happened to. And I'm going to tell you, it's the worst feeling ever. The worst feeling ever. Devin's family praying for him tonight to fight to stay alive. Again, being treated here at Lurie Children's Hospital after being shot in the head. His father shot in the arm. At this point, Chicago police still trying to figure out the person who actually pulled the trigger. Reporting live here at Lurie, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.